Richard here, and we're back at the helm of the late 2006 MacBook for the last time to see our finished product. Now, I won't... If you haven't seen my other videos, I recommend you see them on this before you watch this one because this is the final video on this. There will be no more videos showing this MacBook unless I get a request for one, which I highly doubt I'll be getting in a request because I don't have enough subscribers to be... Hell, I don't have enough subscribers to be getting comments on my thing, let alone, uh, requests. So, without further ado, let's start it up. Because I have the SSD in it, it will start up very quickly. As shown in one of my previous videos. For some reason, it doesn't do the noise that... doesn't do the startup noise all the time. It's not a big deal. The speakers do work. Let me just put in my secret password. And we're in. I'll close this. Because there's really nothing important on. Well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, there's nothing really on it. So. Showing this, I've loaded it all with a ton of software. It is quite responsive for an eight-year-old computer. This is the last, I will note that this is the last version of OSS that supports this particular MacBook. Particularly, it, newer versions don't support it because of the Intel graphics that it has is... <clears throat> Mountain Lion does not support. Let's see. What graphics does this thing have? I forgot. I think it's a... Yeah, it's a GMA 950. They stopped supporting that and one other graphics card. Or whatever it is. But, as you can see, it's, it's, it is the late 2006 MacBook. As you would already know. Yeah, but essentially quite fluid. I have seen forums that have said that do not recommend doing this to a uh, late 2006 MacBook, saying how utterly slow it is, but as long as you have an SSD and you max out the RAM, it's not that bad. If you really, if you want to get more RAM, you can put in two... Two gigabyte modules to give you three gigabytes because it can only see three. But if you put in the two two gigabyte ones to equal four, you'll get the you'll get faster performance. Even though you won't be able to access all four gigabytes, which isn't a big deal in some cases. If you want, you can just put in a two and a one, but it would be faster if you just put in two two gigabytes. I go in order for the apps I installed. First, I have put on Trim Enabler because this is an SSD. Trim is mostly uh, <clears throat> it optimizes your SSD. It alerts. <clears throat> it mostly deletes the blocks that are not in use, so you don't see any performance drops in your SSD. I would recommend it, even though if yours. SSD has trim built into your hard drive, into your, I mean, SSD's firmware, it might conflict. Then after that, I put on the flat, I put on your range of Adobe products like Flash, should Reader, because uh, my mother really needs some of those things for her school. I put on Firefox because she loves... Firefox over Safari. I put on her favorite solitaire game, Full Death Solitaire. You can find that on the App Store. I put on Flip Flyer for Mac just in case she needs to access a WMV movie. 
I put on Microsoft Office 2011 because she needs that, and we have the Office 365 subscription, the nine nine the nine ninety nine a month one. They give you five PCs or Macs. I put on Microsoft Silverlight, even though I could probably get away with, even though I don't really use. I don't think there are any web pages that use Silverlight anymore. There might be a few. I put on Nova Bench for per just to see what type of score this thing gave out. And I put on Vital Source Bookshelf, which is so my mom can get her textbooks on the hard drive so she can download them on the hard drive because it requires this proprietary software. Yeah. Now, Lion is still supported to this day, even though I'm pretty sure support for Lion will be drying up real soon with the upcoming OSX Yosemite 10.10, .10, which will put this approximately three versions behind, which, is, which seems to be new, Apple's new magic number for unsupporting OSX versions previous I mean previous OSX versions because Snow Leopard was dropped when Mavericks was released so it's just a safe assumption that Lion will use will lose support when the Yasma is released since Lion uh, was the successor to Mountain L I meant to Snow Leopard <laughs> yeah but overall, it's not bad for an eight-year-old computer. It <clears throat> it's actually faster than my Mac Mini, if you can believe it, which is a current model late 2012. I think most of it's to do with the SSD because my Mac Mini has a 500 gigabyte, 5400 RPM hard disk, which really hampers its potential. When the warranty expires on it, I will be getting a new... <clears throat> I will be putting an SSD in it because putting one in it right now would void my warranty. So sometime in mid-2016, I will deeply consider it. Because I don't expect to be getting rid of that thing anytime soon. But, I think this computer will do good for her... <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this computer will do good for her for the next year or two. I'm not sure how much longer applications like third part I mean third party applications will support this thing because once the lion loses support usually third party application developers start dropping support for these things all <clears throat> soon after that. But yeah. I think I can hope that this thing will last a year or two, maybe three if I'm lucky, but it's really not bad for the price I've paid. Over all in all with the money I put into it, I did put in around 200 250 but it's more like 100 100 No, it's more like 150 175 be Well, ah, closer to 150 because I sold a few things, like, that I had sitting around, like, some hard drives and that type of crap to earn some money just to buy upgrade parts for this. So, some of the things just came out to be a wash overall. I think that I got a good deal for this because this was for parts are not working, so, it was, it was quite cheap to scoop this up. Only thing I needed was the copy of OS X, which I said in a previous video when I was unboxing this. But <laughs> yep, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope remember to rate, comment, subscribe if you like my content, and I will see you in whatever video I do next. See ya.